Oh, I got some mail here from Manitoba. Okay, it's not a charger, but it is an OBD2 or whatever you call them for this kind of truck. Plug that in, and it's actually Bluetooth. Elm 327. You just plug it in by matching it up. Oh. Lights come on. It's like an ELM 327, came with a CD with a bunch of useless software, and I wrote down some instructions because it did not come with instructions. So here you go. It's an ELM 327, it's plugged in. So basically you plug it in, put the keys in the ignition, and then we want to pair and connect to our phone using the Torque app, which I hear is the best. But I'm just gonna try the free one for now, and if it's good, I'll get the paid one. So I guess I turn it to the uh, ignition on mode once it's plugged in and let it sit there I'm gonna pair that with my phone so we're gonna rock the phone here the old Nexus 5 so we can see it's searching no device selected all right so we go to settings uh, yeah this thing really should have come with a, a little bit of better instructions choose Bluetooth device it should be finding it because right now I'm just running off the ignition. This is a 1998 uh, Z71 Silverado truck. So it's pretty early for ODB or OBD. It's not an old dirty bastard. I knew I was doing something wrong. Okay, so now we get to this and I had to pair it manually through this. So your codes are either 000. Or 1234 or 6789. These are pretty basic codes for anything, but yeah, at least it did find it. Is the light on now? Alright, when I turn the uh, key to the ignition on, it seemed to have paired. So I'm going to go back, go into torque the light. Okay, so it is finding stuff. Looks like it's working. And it is connected. Awesome. Alright, so you don't even have to really pair it through the app, you just have to pair it through your phone and then basically connect it. All right, so let's see what we got for codes. Do I, I guess I gotta start it up now, yeah, but like we'll see if we've got any codes. Show pinging faults. You, you should really do this when you're, oh uh, yeah, when the engine's running warmed up, but it says no pending faults, which is good, because this thing has a leak of the battery or something. I don't know what's going on with this truck, but we'll start it up and see if we get different results. Okay, so we've got a couple codes here. Open loop due to insufficient temperature. I'm not sure what that's from. And secondary air status. No data not supported. So I might actually upgrade here to the better app. Just to, uh... Now we've got emissions. We've got pretty much everything complete except for a VAP system incomplete. So engine load is working. Groovy. This will also show your mileage. I guess that's kilometers per uh, liter. Neat little toy, I must say. I think I just figured it out in like many other options. I'm um, gonna pick this up on video, but whatever. I'll just keep adding displays and messing with it until I find stuff. That's what you do, man, if you wanna learn something. Just keep messing with it, and eventually you'll learn something. Vacuum's good, 20 is perfect. We've got Excel load down here. Oh, nice. And then speed. Vacuum again. This toy just got a whole lot cooler. So I believe this is actually throwing um, real-time uh, fuel right now on the fuel bank. So I'm guessing that's like one of the injectors. Going up a bit. Alright guys, as I said, uh, I'm going to toy around with this tomorrow. And when I'm actually driving, see just how it does. Like right now, it's doing great for eight bucks at first i had my doubts but what the hell man it works thank you for watching keep watching because i'm gonna keep toying with this thing try it in other cars see if i can't get better performance or at least better gas mileage all right bye